What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com back again with another video. And in this video guys, this is going to be part 2 to the real estate lead generation funnel. And unfortunately, I recorded an hour long video and it crashed. So, um, I built it out already. So I'm going to kind of give you an overview of what I did and what I did to get there. And you know, you're going to get this funnel. So all you have to do is grab the link down below. If you don't have a ClickFunnels account, definitely click the link to get a free week, free two week trial. Um, so you can start playing around with this funnel. But I'll give you guys an overview of what I did. So if we click on edit page on the opt-in step, um, the only thing I did here was I removed the header. If you look here on this one, you'll see the header on the opt-in. But if you look here, there's no header. And it, the reason why I removed that is because on this funnel here, there actually is no header. It's just the background image. Um, so that's the first thing I did. And then the second thing I did was I saved... Um, the section so actually let's go back there for a second I saved the sections here so all I did was click this little uh, floppy disk icon and I just saved each, each section so I gave it a name click save as a personal template and then um, to add that section all you have to do is go to this plus sign here go to my sections and you can see that I saved all these here so if I wanted to add the property snapshot one I can just quickly add it there and it'll appear so you can see there's two um, and then I just delete it if I don't need it um, and that just uh, quicks quickens up the funnel design process so you don't have to keep recreating things that you're already created so on the next step what I did was I did that same process I just opened up the sections um, so I'm gonna click edit page so you can see what I did I just saved the sections, brought them into this new um, blank template, and then I added an image. I got this image from Pixabay, so you can see this image here. And I went into Canva, and then I just added a back uh, black like um, square image to it, and then took the transparency down to 54%, and then I just uploaded that to this background, so that's that background. So you can see I just added text here, added the header back on, up there. Um, instead of the section being the whole image, this is just a one column row with the image in the middle. And then this is the property snapshot, just a little modified where there's a button here now. And then that button opens up this pop up. And this is the same pop up. And all I did here was add a custom type field. So all I did was add a new element here. Um, and it's going to be a text area. And then I added a button that says contact Jelani. Um, this can actually go to the uh, this will submit the page it can also go to um, you know your calendar place where you know wherever you have your calendar um, you can set up a redirect so like for example if you're using Calendly or something like that and you want to set up, uh, set up a scheduled um, showing what you can do is go to general and then once that page is submitted you can just redirect them to the calendar page here um, one note about this is you don't want to go and click on right click paste what you want to do is go command V or control V on your keyboard depending on if you're a Mac or a PC and that will place the link here and that's how you want to enter it if you do um, right click it won't save so you want to click save as a page template um, and then all I did here was add a new section add property details and then added three pop-up images here so once you add an image it's going to pop up um, and then the thumbnail is that and the full size is you know you would set the parameters accordingly to what the image is um, and then you can see that this is kind of the same thing here so you would just add the image there and uh, I just duplicated that and then changed the text and then here is just a simple two column row again just changing the background um, and then adding a image here of just you know uh, the map of where the location is you can easily do that by going to images um, so if we go to image click on the image and go to uh, map you can put the location and then have the zoom level have a marker on um, the map type so if you want it to be terrain so I like hybrid in this case we actually took a hybrid um, and then again, we just duplicate it, save the section, and then put that section here. And then this section is this here, duplicated, and then just changed around, just added a button there. And then this is another one column section. Um, and then this is the footer that we saved. So that's all I did there. It wasn't nothing too crazy. Um, 
So, you know, you can obviously edit this to what you want it, want it to be. Um, again, this is just a foundation template for you to use and kind of edit to your liking, change the text, change the colors, change the images. And now once you submit that page, you will come to the final thank you page, which is very simple. Again, all I did was import the save sections that I had from the previous pages um, and then just put them here. So you can see that this is the header. I just removed the button. The thank you um, background here is the same as the previous page. And then this is just a simple two column section or two column row, excuse me. And then again, this is the saved sections from the previous page wherever this is going to be the more featured homes area where you can link your MLS listings site or any other sites that you want here by just clicking on the gear icon and then clicking on set action and set the action to the website URL. Just remove that pound sign and put the URL there. And then again, the footer. So that's all I did guys. It wasn't too much, but I kind of wanted to just give you an overview. And um, unfortunately, like I said, my uh, program crashed. So everything I recorded was gone. So I didn't want to kind of recreate it. I just wanted to get this content out there. So if you want to use this funnel, all you have to do is click the link below and this will go straight into your ClickFunnels account. If you do not have a ClickFunnels account, get the two week free trial so you can play around with it, start using it, start learning it. And you can get that two week free trial by clicking the link below. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, you can get the, this funnel into your account by clicking the link below. If you want more videos like this, please leave a comment. Give me suggestions on different type of funnels that you want me to build. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because I have a lot of awesome content coming, tutorials, interviews with some really cool people, different funnel builds. So I'm putting out a lot of content. So I would really want you to see what I'm uh, bringing forth and what you can learn from me. So definitely subscribe um, and hit that alert button. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.